Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be installing the Kurt Hitch 13485. I purchased this on Napa Auto for $200 with free shipping. We're installing it on a 2022 Hyundai Tucson plug-in hybrid. Let's get started. Package self arrived within a couple days in really good condition. No major tears or dents in the box itself. And forget cutting, it had a glue sealed top that kind of just pulls right open. The item itself weighs 26 pounds and has a rating of 2,000 pounds towing. There was some noticeable tiny pieces of rust here. The paint itself was in good condition. It must have been freshly painted because there was some actually paint that was coming off and one small section came off on my finger. So I just had to clean that off and overall, like I said, 26 pounds, $198 and this is going to be going on a 2022 Hyundai Tucson. It is available for any model Tucson as well as probably the Sorento and Santa Fe. To be, since long this will be using a floor jack, impact wrench and some sockets. The impact wrench comes in handy when removing the first part. You will not need to jack the car up. The car is tall enough where you'd be able to slide it underneath. You just have to go in and remove this first part. This plastic piece comes standard on a Tucson Santa Fe and probably Kia Sorento as well. You're gonna find the exact same plastic piece with the exact same clips. Now these clips just require a flathead screwdriver, just a matter of prying in between the clip and the edge and popping out the first quarter inch and then they come out. bolt itself kind of blossoms at the end so you may need to slide that out. So after the pins come out there are going to be three nuts and I tried hand spinning it. They feel loose so you're able to hand spin it but it just feels like it spins and spins and spins and it does not actually come out. The best way to effectively get this out would be with the impact wrench. Get it out much faster and spin it enough and faster. Three of them are removed, they'll come right out. And I've just basically held on to that piece. Now the hitch itself will slide in without removing the muffler. Once it's secure, you 
can hand tighten the provided hex bolts and then with the impact wrench get them tight but not too tight. I recommend hand tightening to get the proper feel. I did eventually go back and cut the remaining plastic that was just left on there for protection. Once the bolts are properly tightened, you'll be able to lower the jack stand. The hitch is securely installed with minimal effort, minimal time, and minimal tools. Thank you so much for watching. Come back for the next video.